Hello, and this is Shane McCabe down here at Nissan of Cookville giving you a quick walk around video on that 2013 Honda CRV. I'll start over here on the back and show you the wheel. See a really nice face there, pretty good tread depth as well. As far as what I can tell, looking over here on the side, I don't see anything for scratch, dent, stings, nothing crazy that stands out. Really good shape on the driver's side. This wheel here, again, really good face on it, and then you do get nice tread depth. And coming over here to the front, again, same situation, really, really good shape. The only thing that I see, and it's not really of anything, it's just if you had a front license plate, uh, they must have had one, and that's what those holes are drilled there. And then I do see a little stone chip right there on the, uh, the hood, but otherwise, really, really good shape. You do also get the fog lamps in the front. And then over here onto this side, I'll start off with the wheel. You can see really good face and nice tread on the tire. And then on this side of the body, um, I would say it's it's near perfect as well. Uh, really good shape. Looks like there's a little bit of something right there. Might come out in detail. If not, it doesn't feel like it's anything into the paint. So you could always have it buffed if you wanted to. Um, over here, this face, pretty good situation. And then you do have a uh, pretty good tread depth there as well. Coming over here to the back of the vehicle. Really, really good shape, and I'll show you up on the roof too. No dents, sting, so it wasn't like hail damage or anything like that. And let me pop the trunk open to show you inside here. And while I'm popping it up, you can see you do have the backup camera there. And then to the back, it does have the cargo tray down here, so it's like that all-weather mat that comes through. And then you do get a privacy screen, which can pull out so people can't see uh, what you have in, the, in your vehicle there. Uh, you got these little handles here if you pull them it'll shoot the seats down so you can use it pretty much from back here all the way to the back of the front seats as a storage space but again really really good shape and condition here it's super super clean come over here and show you the back seat condition here so these here um i would almost say nobody's ever sat in these they are super super nice no tears stains anything like that you do have the floor mat down there. And it is really nice that this has light interior. It is something I've been hearing from a lot of folks lately looking for things with light interior, uh, just so it's a little bit cooler in the summertime. So really big, big benefit that this has those. Here you can see I have power locks, windows, mirrors on the door, full power adjustable seat. You have an economy mode and a traction control. Down here is where you can pop the locking gas so that people can't get in and steal your gas or anything. You have to actually pop that. Here you do have a e-brake, and here is an adjustment for a tilt and telescope for the steering wheel. And inside the vehicle, you got a couple different buttons, uh, cruise control stuff over here. These buttons are all going to correlate to the screen up in the front. And then you have your Bluetooth functionality here. And of course, your headlights over here for the auto setting. And let me just turn her on. And here's where you can see it's got 79,658 miles. No lights on there, aside from the gas light, but of course we would take care of that for you. Uh, throw a little bit of gas in there. Um, you do have a screen display up there. A couple different buttons through here that uh, can change you through AM, FM, Bluetooth, CD, auxiliary, the whole nine. Um, over here you also do have your climate control. This is dual climate, so you can have it set to either uh, super cold on one side, super hot on the other. Um, and then if you push this one in, you get an auto function, uh, which will then keep you set to whatever temperature that you have uh, set on here. So if you had it set to like 72, works like a thermostat, it'll keep you set at 72. Um, up here, you do have your push and tilt for the sunroof, which is gonna be right up here. And then you can just pull this guy shut from there. You do have heated seats on both sides. And then you do have the power outlet there as well. If I put this into reverse, you will see get you a little backup camera right there and then otherwise pulling it down into neutral drive one or two uh, just a little bit more torque in those gears so um, let me finish off by showing you the glove box pretty good space in there and the original owner's manual so i hope this answered a lot of your questions if you find that you have any more feel free to let me know and i'd be happy to uh, answer those for you thank you